in this session we are discussing b tree and b tree can be defined in this way a b tree is known as balanced shot or balanced aim way tree it is used in external shotting to reduce disc accesses several conditions of the tree must be true so these are the conditions they are given and they must be true now it has been told that b tree is known as a balanced shot or balanced m o a tree now what do you mean by the term this m o a actually you see if you consider the b tree nodes so they will be coming like this so here m is equal to 5 so that means 5 link fields will be there it is known as 5 o m o a or 5 o a also known as order order of m there is a order of 5 so that is also another way to call it so always it will have n number of links and m minus 1 number of info so that will be the node structure it is used in external shorting we know that in case of external shorting the data is so large that it cannot be brought onto the main memory for shorting operation in case of external shorting the data size is so large that it is not being brought onto the main memory for the shorting operation. So, what will be done using merge short and partially keeping data onto the main memory, the data items will get short, they will be written back on, onto the secondary store, new data set will be brought and that is known as external shorting. So, that external shorting in those external shorting will be using this B tree and to reduce disk accesses several conditions of the b tree must be true so these are the conditions we are having let me discuss the height of the tree must be kept minimum actually the height of the tree will decide the searching complexity through this particular b tree so in case of b tree you will be going to store keys that means all the data values will be unique and distinct because they are the key values so to reduce this key search operations always we should maintain the big b tree in such a way that it can be expressed with minimum height okay there must be no empty subtree above the leaves of the tree so these are the leaves above the tree there should not be any empty subtree you see this is one example of this b tree this is so it is having of the order of five or five way b tree and these are the respective node values info and these are also also the info okay now see leaves of the tree must be at the same level all the leaves must be at the same level all nodes except the leaves must have at least some minimum number of children you cannot you cannot expect that there will be one uh, non leaf node without having minimum number of children so how many children that non leaf node should have there will be some counting that is some logic i will be discussing that one so all nodes except the leaf leaves must have at least some minimum number of children okay now these are the properties let me explain them one by one b tree of the order of m has got the following properties each node has a maximum of m children and minimum of m by 2 children or any number from 2 to maximum obviously so, as it is of the order of 5 or 5 OA, so it can have 5 links, so 5 children maximum it can point. So, that is why maximum number of children will be uh, m, that is the maximum number of children and the minimum number of will be m by 2, otherwise or any number from 2 to maximum. That means, a node cannot have one child, it is minimum it will be having 2 children. Each node has one fewer keys than children within maximum of m minus one keys i told you this one m number of ways or m number of links and m minus one number of info or key fields keys are arranged in a defined order within the node all key in the subtree of the left of a key are predecessors of the key and on the right are the successors of the key and you see all the key, all these key values which will be kept within a particular node will be in certain order order means here you see they are in the ascending order they are in the ascending order and all the nodes all the all the nodes 
values, key values which will be earlier to this C will be known as predecessors and rest values will be known as the successors. When a key is to be inserted, is to be inserted into a full node that means the node should have m minus one number of keys. Let us suppose the node is completely filled up, but I am going to insert another key within that particular pre-filled node. The node is split it into two nodes and the key with, uh, with the median value is inserted in the parent node and the key with the median value that means after sorting the middle most data will be known as the median. So, that will be inserted in the parent node. In case the parent node is the root then a new root is to be created. So, whatever we are discussing here obviously, I shall give you one example to clear up all your doubts for the better understanding. All leaves are on the same level I told you this one earlier there is no empty subtree above the level of the leaves. So, that point we have discussed here that point we have discussed here. So, that means this is known as MOA tree. So, how to construct a B tree please watch the next video where we will be taking a set of keys and we shall go on creating the B tree accordingly using those key values. So, please watch the next video because that will be in continuation of this one and thanks for watching this one.